Welcome to Seoul, Korea. Wow, it's a cold day today. It's about 32 to 35 degrees Fahrenheit. So yeah, it's really cold. But one thing really good to eat on a cold day is kalguksu. Yes, it is knife cut noodles and it's under a warm broth and it's a perfect dish to have here in Seoul, Korea on a cold, cold day like this. So I thought it'd be fun to come down to Namimu Market and show you guys not only kalguksu, but also some of the traditional foods that are really comfort foods here in Korea. So let's go down and check out Namimu Market. All right, here we are guys. We are trying the kalaguksu here. And they have a set of five different things you can get. And we got kalaguksu, we got bibimbap. We also have some panchan, we have kimchi, and some, um, also it's a kimchi stem of kimchi. The corn kale kimchi. Also they have uh, some bibimbap naengmyeon, as well as some soup. And this is a seaweed soup. So, but uh, this is what we came for. We came for the kalaguksu here. So let's give this a try first. Since this is a small set of five things, they're basically giving a very small portion at the same time. It's a great way to try to try a lot of different things at one time. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is really good. It has some onions. Seaweed has a lot of stuff in here. Mm. Mm -hmm. Good. This alleyway, super busy. A lot of people coming in here, so. And then they've also had other YouTubers and people coming here, film, so they're familiar with us. But um, yeah, as you can, they all call for you to come and try this food. Mm. Mm. One thing about nice about the kalgusu is the noodles have a lot of the spring to them. Fresh made noodles. Mm. Mm. Here we go guys, let's try their bibimbap. Mmm, so um, good. Yeah. Bibimbap is just a lot of vegetables, sprouts, and seaweed, and rice all mixed together with gochujang sauce, which is red pepper paste. Mmm. Yeah. This is probably the most recognizable dish for foreigners here is bibimbap. It's, I think also you can control the amount of pepper paste goes in here, so it's easier for foreigners to eat this because it's a little bit spicy, but you can put less sauce in it, so. Mm. They provide barley water to the table, so you can help yourself to some barley water. It's like a tea, basically. Mm, that's cold. Now the bibimbap in here, and these noodles are really chewy. Bibimbap, spicy, sweet. Mm. Mm. Actually, this is really good. That bibimbap flavor. If you come here, you can go to any one of these shops. They're all the same in terms of the food they offer. I mean, the quality might be different from the shop, but they're all good. Mm. Oh, yeah, really good kimchi. I love this part the best. Mm. No, oh, that's really good. Oh my goodness. And the final thing they have here, seaweed soup. They might have some denjang in here. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm. She's saying to eat this together, so have a bite of this and then have the soup together. Mm. 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 Yeah, so if you want dining experience, come to the I'm, I'm the move for traditional foods because this is traditional food, it's been around for a long time. Bibimbap, um, Kalgu soup, Nangbian, it's been around a long time. You come here, oh, the Guangzhou market, it's a little bit more touristy, but here, it's still touristy. You have a lot of tourists come here, but at the same time, the quality of food is just like home cooked meal that you get from your mom or your grandma. Mm. At the same time, more affordable price. All of this for 8,000 won, which is calculated around, I think, around six dollars something cents conversion right now. So, for all of this for under seven dollars. Okay guys, we just finished up here at the uh, Kalguksu Alley and now we're gonna go down here and there's this very popular Mandu place down here that I want to show you guys. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, this is probably one of the best Mandu you'll find here in Namde Moon as well as maybe in Seoul, I don't know. But they're really popular here. So let's get in line and try some of these Mandu. These are steamed mandu, and you can see there's the steam just rolling here. But you get five for five thousand, and ten for ten thousand, twenty for twenty thousand. So yeah, there's people that order a hundred of them. So don't be surprised. Okay, guys, here it is. We got the mandu. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. And yeah, we got the last little batch before the next batch comes out. So, but I'm gonna show you guys this. This is the Kogi mandu, and this is the meat mandu. So I'm go ahead and open it up here, just so you guys can see what it looks like inside. This is kogi mandu. Look at that, it has some meat in there, chives. Also has some glass uh, noodles in there as well. Mm. Mm. I can't express to you guys how much you have to try this. This is the best dumpling I've ever had. And I'm not, I'm not exaggerating, this is really good. Mm. Fresh steamed mandu. Perfectly balanced in flavor. Also, if you want, you can come here and, get, and there's a restaurant upstairs. So you can walk upstairs and get uh, sit down at a table. Also, they typically give you sauce for this too, like a dipping sauce, like a soy sauce. But this, you don't need sauce. This is really good. And this is what the kimchi mandu looks like. Look at this inside here. All right. Very similar to the Kogi Mandu, but this also has kimchi in it. Similar ingredients, but kimchi's in here. Look at that. That looks amazing. Mm. Wow. This is better. This has more, a little bit spice to it, but also kimchi flavor. Mm. More rich flavor. If you can handle a little bit of heat, take this one. This is better. Well, no, both of them are really good. And you can order them one at a time. We're also gonna, we ordered five kind of mixed together for 5,000 won. And you can also pay with credit cards. So don't have a reason not to come here and try this. And this place is busy all day long, guys. And they will run out. So don't wait till the end of the day to come here because they will run out. People can order up to 100 at a time. So crazy good. Also, Namde Moon, just to let you know, actually is formed back in 1964. So now all the shops are here. They sell textiles, they sell souvenirs. You can buy, you know, even chopsticks, <laughs> luggage, shoes, socks, pretty much anything you want to buy for or shop for. People come down here. It's really affordable prices and a good quality of products as well. So, all right. And also you can see people still drive through here they deliver, taxis come by, um, also motorcycles come through, so be careful when you're here because it's not closed off. And down here, I want to show you guys, it's really cool, they have these alleyways with the restaurants, and um, a lot of people kind of miss this when they come to Namde Moon, so I want to kind of show you guys this. 
Um, it's right next to the donut place here. And if you come down here, you can see these alleyways. I'm on and uh, let me go ahead and take you down here. There's another alleyway down here. This place is too busy. <laughs> this one's a popular one here. Yeah, but as you can see, Namde Moon it actually is very, very popular. Not only for the tourists, but also locals come here from all over Seoul. So they come here to pick up stuff, have lunch, meet you know friends and family here too. It's really a social kind of a, a, a environment. You know, they're actually around this area. The stores started actually back in the Joseon Dynasty area. Back in 1414, there's actually a lot of places around this area that they sold products to and you know, merchants were around. So this is a long-standing tradition of shops here in this area of Seoul. Also, they have people here in the red coat. They're basically information people. So if you get lost or you want to find something here in Seoul, they'll be happy to help you out and give you information. Namdae Moon Market is actually between the City Hall and Seoul Station, but also is close by Myeongdong. So if you find yourself in Myeongdong, you can actually walk down here to Namdae Moon. Right? Yep. And down here is the popular Hoduck. Okay, here it is guys, the traditional hoduck. It has sugar in here along with some nuts. And so let's give it a try. Mm. Oh, so fresh. This has some um, nuts in there. Also has some like sugar. And then when it hits the grease, it warms it up. Oh, so good. Yeah, so they call this a uh, pancake or Korean pancake, but it also it's like a donut because it's really doughy. And this one's a little bit more doughy than traditional ones that I got before, but it's really soft and pillowy. When I was a student here, the university, I used to get the one of these for 500 won on the streets. And during the winter time, it's really warm, so it's so, such a good snack, as well as a treat to have as a dessert. Okay, this is new to me. This is called the Yache Hoduck, and basically it's supposed to be like chopped che, which is glass noodles and some vegetables inside. More of a savory Hoduck, so. Let's give this a try. Mm. Oh. Wow. Let's try to open up here. You see some glass noodles in there. Got some chives. There's like carrots in there as well. Um, yeah, so this is um, something new that's created here in Namde Moon by this uh, vendor here. And it's become really popular. So if you come here, you're gonna wait in the line. I pretty much guarantee it at the same time. This is well worth the wait. Mmm, so good. She drizzled it with like a soy sauce and um, soy sauce vinegar kind of base. So that drizzle was really good. But the flavor of this, mmm, mmm, so good. Okay guys, there's one more thing I wanna show you guys before we head out of uh, Dami Market. And this is a uh, Korean sweet potato. And they're roasting them up here, right next to the gate five sign. So let's go check it out. So they have this one device or this roaster that they roast the sweet potatoes in. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys this roast machine as well. So buy some koguma. This is it, so they rest roasting fresh sweet potatoes in here, guys. Look at that. So in these cylinders, they have the sweet potatoes stuffed in there and they have gas that's heating up the sweet potatoes inside. <laughs> this is a sweet potato, cream sweet potato. All right, I'm opening this up here, guys. See what it looks like. Oh, there it is, ooh. Big old fat sweet potato. Oh, look at that, guys. Oh, man. Look at the steam coming off of that. This is Asian sweet potato. So this is one of my favorite snacks here in Korea. You can also eat the outside of it, so. Oh, hot. 
Oh my god. So good though. Oh. Mm. Asian sweet potato, a little different from that of the American sweet potato. Mmm, the steam coming off of that. Mm. Even in the States, I always buy these at the Asian market and also make them at home. But having them roasted in these uh, special ovens is different from our oven at home. So, guys, that is it for our time here at Navi Moon Market. Hope you enjoyed today's video. We had a lot of wonderful food, traditional food here in Korea, and also not that, but it was cold, but we had the warm food to kind of warm us up as well. So leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought of the video today. And if you liked today's video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and a like. And as always, guys, I appreciate your support, and we'll see you back in the next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.